In this week's blog, we have a Mercedes C-Class in for a single stage, which then becomes an enhancement, which then becomes a full-blown G-Technic service. Lots of other crazy stuff goes off, and you can check it out straight after this. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your detailing questions. And before we dive into this vlog, I want to talk a little bit about vlogging and about how it works with uh, AM Details. So as you guys all know, I love doing this. It's a good passion of mine. I started doing it just to see where it would go and then it's grown with AM Details and also see what happens with it. But we had quite a lot happening, me personally at home and then with a lot happening at AM Details due to you amazing people, this vlog and other successes that uh, we started to get very busy. Whether it's a boom in the industry or something like that, but my friend Jim White just said in his video as well, which I will pop out up here, bing, that uh, he called it of all the best intentions. So you start the week and you're thinking, oh, I've got this great car in, I'm gonna get the job done, I'm gonna get loads of it filmed, me and Scott are gonna have a great time on this car, we're gonna get everything sorted, and it's gonna be a fantastic week and create a great vlog. But well, business and life just doesn't quite work out like that. <laughs> I had to get a lot of stuff done in here, which pretty much meant the car went 100% to Scott, who did a fantastic job, but he had to get his head down and crack on, because the car developed from a single stage to an enhancement, onto coatings, every now and again me being able to help, Jamie being able to help, but basically, here we're on it, so the camera, well, it went wherever I went. And I've always shot these vlogs as if they're a bird's eye view of what happens at AM Details, raw how it is, if we're fly out crazy you get to see that, if we're quiet you get to see that, if I'm on this desk doing paperwork, I want it to be a crossover between the AM Details business and what it is like for me to, to manage, grow and come along with that. And then we've started to bring in elements, so Scott doing his own videos, etc. Um, but with only having the 1G7X, it's primarily from my perspective angle of what's happening at AM Details. So I just wanted to not apologise for what's going on because I'm still creating content and you guys are still enjoying it. But I know where I would like these vlogs to be and they're going to be there soon. It's just we're in this little area where there's a lot going on, we're doing a couple of changes here, potentially looking at staff, potentially looking at other bits and pieces. It's taking up a lot of time, which isn't cinematically great to film, unless you all want to sit here while I'm on telephone calls. Um, but we're trying our best to get the cameras back into the bay, back into the, the cool day-to-day -day stuff that's going, the making the chemicals and stuff, and bring you more of the day-to-day -day action rather than the day-to-day -day hello game details. So with that being said, let's roll the vlog. Good morning. Whilst we're cleaning the wheels on this Merc, it reminded me when I was in the Facebook comments, some of you people are a little bit rude down there. I'm going to explain why. Now I'm a happy, go jolly guy. We give away free information here on the channel and we like to share what we're doing and show off what's going on. But a lot of people, for example, on this service, which has a wheels off, will just comment nastily cleans the wheels before taking the wheels off. Time wasted. Let me explain why we do that. Well, the first thing is we are a business and we have priced into the service of this what we charge. So how we do it here, we priced into it. We're still making money. So it's kind of a funny one where people say like you're wasting money. You could make more money being a business by in theory cutting corners or why do you bother doing that uh, when you're gonna take the wheels off? Anyway, well, especially with gloss black wheels like we have on this Mercedes, we like to just give them a light cleaning up and a pre-wash before we have to manhandle these wheels and taking them off and cleaning them up and then coating them. Plus, if we can get the arches as clean as possible as we can outside, then once we're inside, we're not making a mess of the unit. Now, it is a very small minority. The majority of you will nicely put Alan, why do you clean the wheels before then taking them off later on? Why wouldn't you just clean them twice? Thank you very much, Bob. But instead, they just do this one-line statement with an exclamation mark, silly questions, or call me a time waster. For those people, psh, I think I'm just going to start deleting your comments. And for the rest of people that ask nice questions, then I will happily answer and do little videos like this. All done. Back to the car.
And that's the Merc Safe Wash decontamination inside and dry. Let's get up on the ramp and begin single stage. So once we're on the ramp, we notice, well we already knew about this really, but there is some body shop defects in and around the boot area. We found out that is because the customer had the spoiler fitted afterwards, so whoever's fitted it has then obviously tried to blend in. And we've got uh, quite a bit down here too. Let me get you a light source, ta-da! So here we go, you can see we've got some buffer trail in and around the badge. Uh, any around here? Not bad, but mostly around the lower of the spoiler. So the job for me is to tackle this bit first. So to keep this vlog true to form, which is to show you things exactly how they happen and what's going on, this bumper is actually quite complicated and I want to show you why. Firstly, as many of you all know, Alan, why haven't you opened the boot to eliminate the risk factor and get nice and close to the edge? Well, for some reason this Mercedes with its electrical rear boot bit, I had it sat perfectly on my little jamming ball and then halfway through a machine session it just decided to start going up, it made a funny noise and away it went. I did not push the key fob. There may be a feature which you guys will tell me that stops that from happening but in the meantime I am a little bit stuck. And then someone's been here previously, we've managed to machine out the buffer trail here but actually you have a lip. This lip on the bonnet, um, the boot, which gives like a nice bit of texture, but it's not very easy to uh, get up close to that. And the lights are also lipped as well to keep that kind of uniform shape in. Like, how are you made to get in there? So I'll have to do a cheeky little hand polish in there. Luckily, the person machining before me hasn't managed to get in, but look how close they got into this groove and badge area. Now, luckily, I've got the hybrid. But imagine if you didn't have that tool trying to get in there. You'd be probably taping this up and just trying to get your machine in there. It's going to stall. It's not going to be much fun, but just to get that, get rid of that. I can't leave that in there, can I? Look at that, someone else's stuff. <sighs> so I just wanted to show you the little factors that happens when you're machining. I looked at this this morning and thought, I'll quite happily buzz over this before the gents come in because actually I'm not doing any work this morning because my little um, Apple mouse has run out of battery. So it's currently on charge. So I thought, let's dive onto the car first. Get this bit done, so then when the gents come in we can task them and then I have a Skype call at 10, I'm pretty sure, with the web guy. Oh yeah, and if I forgot to tell you before this machine session started, it's already Wednesday. Woo. I was just positioning this for a shot and thought I would show you. You can see exactly where the person previously has come in. This will be wool, remember, and went bang. So they've caught this lip, this whole area probably with one big pad just giving it and That lip is what's caused all the problems. I'm quite lucky that they never caused any damage on there to be honest. Okay, I've got the wee nano. Oh well though. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've managed to get rid of the tougher damage that's in there, but you can see now because I was having to do some edging with the little nano, I've left my own damage in there. So it's time to step down the combination. Take this out. And there we go. 
nipped up nice and tight into there. No more buffer trail. Took a little bit of work, but but that is what we're looking for. Nice tight into that corner and down to here. Now I am not going to go chasing out this little thing you can see in there before all you see it in the comments. <laughs> This is a single stage, the customer knew they would have to pay for a little bit of extra work to tidy up this rear end, but with that, I'm happy. Final little piece of the puzzle is to tackle this bit. So I've taped up the spoiler around the edges here. I think I'm gonna have to cut a bit harder as there is some nasty scratches in here where they've uh, been installing the spoiler. You see them just in there? They're actually quite deep when you can see them with your Mark 1 eyeball. So Gonna rock green pad, we're fine, with the yellow. Let's go! So I haven't managed to get the super deep stuff out. But realistically, whoa, you know, you're barely going to see that. Not bad for enhancement, but that was Jamie just passing me the, see it just there, ring, big scratch, there we go. Whew. Jamie passing me the phone, it's time for a Skype meeting with the website dudes. The time is now. Whew. 20 past one, two and a half hour meeting with Dave the web guy. Thank you very much sir if you're starting watching the vlogs. Epic good catch up means we can bring all the stuff for you guys. We are nearly there. So, so, so good. But I'm back on the Merc. I want to be a bit fast though. I'm going to buzz around. I've got to do the roof, do some other bits so we and Scott can get this up in the air. Because as I said, it is uh, 20 past one. And ideally, I'd like to have a good bit of the cutting done today so we can start getting the coatings on on the Thursday. Customer would like to pick this up Friday, Saturday. Good. morning it is Thursday and this is for someone can you guess who it's gonna be quite a busy one today try and attempt to get the finishing stuff on the Merc and coatings ready so that Scott can do it on Thursday Friday customer pick up on the Saturday wheels are deep clean decontaminated as you seen earlier but these also need coating Jamie is flat to the mat with the chemical stuff and we've got to bring some more downstairs and do a lot of humping and dumping at the storage. Plus, Porsche 911 vlog, Dan did an absolute superhero effort and got it finished for the Monday, I think, Monday night, coming into Tuesday morning. I haven't done the thumbnail, I haven't done the description, I haven't done the titles and it drops tonight. So, first job this morning, Facebooks, emails, vlog. Done. All I have to do is go and do the cards so that the little pop-up bits come out, I've got the information on them. But a pretty good description, letting you know what happened through the week. It's quite a big one this week. Um, then the little plugs that we do, so the detailing core, subscribe to the channel. The ultimate YouTube tip of TubeBuddy. Now you might have seen that pop up on the screen and I was using it to help me find some really good tags to use with this video. For example, we are detailing a Porsche. So I have got this Ace Little Explore thing, you have to pay a little bit for this, but if we put in something like Porsche detailing, and then helps you to generate, um, you know, what's popular, what's trending on YouTube at the moment, and helps you pick some tags that might be relevant to that, and help you see the other related videos. So this is like a, quite a popular video, so I can go and check it out, and then using the same application, I can check out what are the tags on this video, and uh, and have a look what's going on here. So we've got like car detail, and none of these really relate to me, so none of them would really be any good in me using. It's a super cool little application. It's linked in the description down below and it's free. Yes, I use a couple of paid elements, but just because of the type of video I'm doing and it's not a very you know popular 
place, then I like to try and optimize the videos as much as I can, so at least then Google and all the rest of the elements are finding them, and YouTube is doing its thing. Um, if you can get a lot of volume to a video, the video will do well, but I don't get a lot of volume to my videos. I get about a thousand views, we're not doing like four, five, six thousand views, so I need to work a little bit harder on having YouTube pick up my videos. And as I say, it's linked down below on my must-have YouTube tool. It's brilliant, I use it nearly every day. It's the same one I use for filtering out all your YouTube comments so I can answer them and I know I've been slow on them but with me making a trip down to Birmingham this weekend I'll have some time in the hotel to get back and answer them for you. I'll update you on what's, why I'm going to Birmingham at the end of the vlog. But now that that's done it's time for me to quickly pile through this little bit of paperwork and then we really must headphones, music on, smash with the Merc. Plus all the other stuff I was showing you at the start of this of what's in the unit. It's gonna be a busy day. So what I'll be showing you there guys is Scott has been going around with the microfiber system would you believe on this rear quarter and here and there was just a couple of areas there we couldn't take out because um, the big pad was stalling out so I just attended it with the spot pad in the green and it's cleaned that up lovely. So now it's time to me to follow around, refine this and coat it. So I'm here as a vlogger thinking on my last day of having a vlog at five past one, I haven't shot a lot of content today. I don't know if you can hear that. That's right, I've been on hold for a very long time to a lot of companies. Why are people's customer service sucks? But whilst I've been on hold, I've been able to do a bit of work. Let me show you. So obviously I can't sheen, but I've done a couple more orders, all sorted out here. And this rather large order, thank you very much, Mark Horton. Also in there, give a little shout out to Kevin, Premier Smart Repairs. Little distribution order topped up for you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Ding! Ha <laughs> ha, the time is now. Half past two, I've just finished a video conference call with Paul about training and developing his business. Ding! Yet to hear back from Parcel Force, so we've still got a pallet sat at the front of the shop. Oh, and Parcel Force have been and picked up all them parcels, so I've just got to do all that online. Scott's away for uh, lunch. Jamie's away for lunch, so it's just me covering the shop. It's a bit bonkers. I think this is how this week's going to end up being, me just doing lots of updating. But that is vlogging, that is AM details, that is the business life. Um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Good morning. It's Friday morning. I know, I told you this week was a little bit bonkers, but here is where we are. Pallet is good to go. Wheels, good to go. Paintwork, good to go. Scott is currently coating it with crystal serum. Me and Jamie are going to shoot off and sort out the off-site storage. And then this weekend, I'm shooting off to Birmingham. So I will leave you in the capable hands of Mr. Man. Enjoy. Good morning, Merck's done, Scott smashed it last night, let's have a look.
that's it. What a week. Whew. Didn't turn out exactly how it was meant to, but hey, that is how detailing goes and that is how business goes. Today I am going to get ready and shoot off down to Birmingham. It's the only reason I've come in today is to grab this camera and to finish this vlog. And then next week we have Finley in, which is going to be excellent, and a Mustang in for a lot of work. So with that being said, hi guys, I am Alan and I hope you have enjoyed this video brought to you by AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and why not smash the bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your detailing questions. And these two videos are chosen just for you. Ciao.